Happy Friday. Let's get absolutely crazy right now. We're going live with my man, Big George White. Uh, we're in for a treat right now. We just dropped the episode on the sales experience today. Feedback off the charts. I'm so excited for this right now. I love George. George, I see you, brother. We're going to bring you on right now, and let's have some fun. Uh, also, everybody in the chat right now, current state, 1 to 10. Let us know. So George and I can take full accountability, have you flying 15 out of 10 by the time this conversation has concluded. I'm blown away and humbled, belts my heart. Love you all. First time going live at 38 years young. Big dog. Yes, sir. What up, my brother? Big dog. How you doing? So good to see you, George. How you doing? Pretty good, man. Can't complain. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. We dropped our episode on the show today. Yes. Feedback off the charts. We had record downloads in the first 24 hours. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, you're crushing it. You have a lot of momentum, and, and there's just magic every time we get together. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. so excited to build a friendship, but most importantly, I'm so excited to share you with some of my audience and community who might not have been familiar, brother. I love what you're doing. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my brother. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, hell yeah. It was a, it's, it's been a blessing and honor, man. The podcast was awesome, man. Very awesome. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Uh, we dropped the clip today, which was awesome. And basically, the reason why I had the team cut this clip specifically is because when you said it to me in the conversation, I wrote it down, it stuck out with me so much. Everybody's looking for like all these these mystical, magical opportunities to come to their life or, or someone to say, here's a lottery ticket, whatever the case may be. But the way you illustrated it, just the simple fact that we woke up today, our eyes opened, that's the opportunity that we need to go make stuff happen, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, uh, I don't believe that people understand the blessing we have. Not everybody woke up this morning. Not everybody had the same opportunity as the next person. So just to wake up and continue to chase your purpose, to see your family, you know, to hug your kids, hug your family, man, it's a big blessing. And we can't take those for granted. That's a big blessing that a lot of people can get to receive today. So we got to be thankful for it all. Yeah. And also, hell yes. Mm -hmm. And another one that you were saying is that some people are so fearful and scared of the process. Mm -hmm. You and I, we love to fall in love with mm -hmm. the process. When most people get tired, that's when you kick it into another gear. Mm -hmm. What is your mindset like to, to marry the process, so to speak, and divorce the outcome? Know that you had a purpose before anything. Uh, second thing is remember why you started. Remember why you started. You know, if you have a dream, or if you're trying to hit your pinnacle, you're trying to manifest your goals, man, you got to be very disciplined in everything that you do. You got to weed out bad habits and create good habits. It's not hard to yeah. do. We do, you know, and you stay in, if you stay intentional with everything that you do, you're going to reap the reward. You just got to stay consistent, creative, and confident in everything that you do. Hell yeah. And a word that you mentioned that really sticks out is consistency. Mm -hmm. People, so many people come up to me and want me to, they want me to coach them. They're like, I want to do what you're doing in a relatively short amount of time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's fine, but do you want to do what I did? And really, I, I did a lot of things, but one thing that really sticks out is I'm just all in. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm committed and I'm consistent. And, and you, you showcase this better than what I've ever seen. You show up regardless. Mm -hmm. And then when you do that and it, and it starts to compound, it mm -hmm. kind of takes care of itself. Yeah. Because then you're creating opportunities because you keep showing up, right? Mm -hmm. um, showing up is half of the part. See, you know, a lot of people say, George, I show up. Okay, it's easy to show up. But are you going to be 100, you know, give 110%? Uh, I believe that some people try to uh, find the easy way. There's no easy way to success, man. You got to create your own blueprint. There's no handouts. Nobody's going to give you nothing in this world. You got to work for it. You got to be intentional. You got to be dedicated. And once you receive everything we worked hard for, it's going to feel so good to you, man. It's going to feel so good with, on the inside. It's going to make you want to keep striving for more things that you had put in place. And one of the most important parts, I think, as well, we need to start creating a vision board for ourselves. Uh, write down everything that you want to accomplish. And I don't do year goals, man. I do weekly goals. I do monthly goals. And before you can get to a year ago, you must, you must accomplish and achieve those weekly goals, those monthly goals, so you can accomplish those yearly goals. Ooh, that's good, right? Because you might set a, a year goal out mm -hmm. 365 days in advance, and then like you might get a little dejected or tired mm -hmm. or obstacles come. But if, but if you have a goal within the next seven day mm -hmm. sample size or time frame, like mm -hmm. 
that's like a short sprint. Exactly. And then you keep doing that mm -hmm. times 52, then you're going to conquer and surpass any yearly goals you might have had, I imagine. You know, also, you know, things change. You can set something out to accomplish in a year, but things change. And so that's why I always speak about plan A, B, C, and D. Your B protect your A, your C protect your B. Um, you will never have to worry about falling short because your B is going to be as strong as your A and your C is going to be as strong as your B. Yeah, this is so good about that. Unbelievable stuff. Um, and I know you're huge on expansion and growing. Mm -hmm. And you say that we're here to grow, right? Mm -hmm. And also, it's funny because I like to say, like, if you're not embarrassed of who you were a year ago, you're probably not growing. And, like, go look at some of my content when I first started. Mm -hmm. like, now I look back. And even, first of all, I see you leveling up with the content. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, hell yeah. But it's just like, you got to be obsessed with growth, right? Like, and I feel like you're the same way, like, as you continue to ascend the human, George, but also your brand and so forth, like, you don't really have time for people that aren't interested in things that are growth oriented. Like, you're not really trying to talk about like mindless bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying, you know, my main objective is to reach as many people as possible. Not a certain group of people want to reach everybody. And, uh, I speak with conviction and I speak with passion. If you go through and binge watch my videos, you'll see that, hey, this guy doesn't play. And that's the reason why I have momentum because I'm very intentional and very authentic. And you don't see that, you don't see that that much in this time and age. And also you see the grind, you see the blood, sweat and tears. So each video I make have a message behind it. And you can listen to one video a hundred times and you get a different message from it every time. That's, that's, that's that's important by being intentional with what you do. I mean, people see that they're like, okay, this guy is different. He turned up a notch. And when I say turn turn it up, I mean turn it up. And you just, at some point in your life, you don't go through a phase where you just feel exhausted, you feel tired, you feel confused. And one of my videos will teach you how to stay uh, motivated, how to stay consistent and creative, and how to turn up every day. You might go through some things. I understand that. But you just got to make sure that you stay strong enough to keep going forward. Don't go backwards. Tiptoe if you have to. You just can't go back. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Momentum, you mentioned that word. For me, I think that's the key to life. I think that momentum's the hardest thing to get and the easiest thing to lose. But once you mm -hmm. have it, the wind's at your back. Mm -hmm. And then you're like a operational match for all the abundance out there. What is a strategy that someone could utilize today just from listening to this conversation to start to cultivate momentum? So I want to go, I want to piggyback on what you said, you know, about uh, it's not hard to get it. But my main, my main thing I always say, it's not hard to get it, it's hard to keep it. Mm. So when you have momentum, you want to be on top of that momentum. If you get distracted by things that doesn't benefit you, you will lose momentum. You didn't come this far just to get this far. You didn't work this hard just to get this far. So learn how to be very analytical with what you do as well. Look at your analytics. Learn how to market yourself. Learn how to brand yourself. Um, utilize your resources to get to the main source. If you want to execute with excellence and deliver with results, then you have to see the bigger picture. If you can't see the bigger picture, then there's no picture. Yeah, talk that talk, oh, George. That talk, you know it. <laughs> this is so good, brother. I love it. One thing that you, you talk about a lot, which... I don't talk about that I do a lot, but, but it is what I do, is the word intention. Mm -hmm. And like every single thing that you do, similar to me, is methodical. Mm -hmm. You're playing chess. You're, it's, there's a reason. You're not just posting something to post something, right? Like even me, like with my content, like if I'm posting a picture, me and my nephew, like there's a message. There's a reason why I'm posting that at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Everything you do is so intentional. And I think more people should consider being more on purpose with everything that they do, everyone they align themselves with, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you know, that's, that's the key ingredient, just knowing when to do it, how to do it. Like when it comes to, you know, branding yourself on social media, uh, knowing what time to post, uh, when you get the most engagement, um, you know, what people gravitate to, what content you made before that people gravitate to versus now. So you just got to really streamline and forecast everything you've been doing within the last uh, month, last uh, 30 days, the last 60 days, last 90 days. And your, your um, assessment going to tell you how to keep going forward. That's how you create momentum. You just got to uh, analyze 
everything you've been doing for the last year, the last four months, last six months. It's going to tell you what you should do, what you should not do. But make sure you pay attention and grow, evolve with social media because the algorithm changes a lot. If you look at TikTok, TikTok algorithm is totally different from Instagram. So you have to know how YouTube works, TikTok, and how Instagram works. If you want to build your brain, you have to be intentional. And two things uh, I, that we should know in this season, you got to be intentional and you have to be, and you have to be logical. What do you mean by logical? Like, if you can't make it make sense, don't trust it. You got to, you have to, you can't see a lot of people live with imagination, but it doesn't add up up to what they work at it. And they not being very logical of what they really want to, uh, what they want to receive. If you're not putting the work in, you're not going to receive what you've been asking for. You got to be logical with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself. You got to be, you got to think different. If you want, if you want different and receive different, then you got to do different. Talking not going to do it. You got to walk about it. Yeah. You can't talk about it. You got to walk about it. Yeah, hell yeah. There's so many places we can take this conversation. One thing that you showcase that I think the world can get a lot from is, aside from your awesome messages, it's very obvious that you're going for it. Like, like you're, you know that you're going to get out of this world what you're willing to fight for. And, and you're determined to make whatever it is that you're doing specifically the biggest thing the world's ever seen. And, and I just think that's so contagious. I admire it. And for other people out there that are looking to start something, whether it's a personal brand, entrepreneurship, a side hustle, really anything, just take a look at how committed George is, right? And, and how consistent. And, and you could just feel like the eye of the tiger. Like you're not playing around. And, and it's almost like you can't lose. And it doesn't mean there won't be obstacles, but you'll learn from them. But when you have that mentality, like winners win, right? Mm -hmm. And when you're trying to get where you're going, you really don't have time to play around. You know, you don't have time to play around. You've been praying for this, man. You've been, you've been, you know, you've been isolating, you've been eliminating so you can elevate. So you have no time to play around. You got to go get what's yours. And that's why I want to speak to the people, man. And I don't only put myself in a box. I don't only speak to a certain group of people like I mentioned before. I'm able to dive into each different type uh groups and people so you just gotta you just gotta want more than the next person that's it yeah george what's your event in houston when yeah. you said when yeah oh may 6th can people, saturday may the 6th can people still sign yeah. up or no uh you can click the link in my bio and get your tickets okay. yes may 6th and what can they what, what can they expect me talk that talk george man you're gonna it's gonna you won't leave the way you came and I want this 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 passion, this anointing on me to radiate through the whole room, through everybody who in there that bought a ticket. And it's about it's, it's I want to be a life changing uh message event. And if you come, I guarantee you, you're gonna feel it. Yeah. You're gonna feel it. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. We got some, I got some uh, amazing people that will be speaking as well. I have an artist that will be. Uh, performing i have uh two speakers as well it's gonna be electric let's get it yeah i mean you can feel your passion through instagram can thank you you. Live? forget about it thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah. so i'm well, laying the point with this when you said something to me in the conversation that we had mm -hmm. that stuck with me and i'll never forget and basically it's like as you continue to ascend in life mm -hmm. you're going to lose people Right, you, or you outgrow them, or you realize that you're not on the same frequency as you once did. But and I think a lot of people that are striving for big success, like taking a really big swing, start to experience this. But you articulated it beautiful, more beautiful, I should say, than anyone I, I've ever heard. And you said the parachute wasn't really meant that. Right? How, how did you articulate that? So, you know, sometimes God might drop that parachute, but they, not everybody can go with you. Their parachute was meant for you. See, a lot of things, see, let me get another uh, analogy, like uh, like the airport. You know, you go to a check, you go to a check-in counter. You know, not everybody can go through TS TSA, which sometimes you gotta check people in at the check-in counter because God know that they will either hinder your blessing or they not strong enough to board your plane and go through your trials and error, to go through the things you are going through. They might, oh man, some people are not ready to go to that next level. Uh, it's, it's a lot of people who have hidden agendas. Uh, some people come to kill, steal, and destroy. 
But when you know who you are, when you know who God is, what God had for you, uh, you will have the discernment of what God wants you to do. And not and just because you are removing some people, it, it doesn't mean you hate them. It just means that this new journey or this come up is personal. And when something is personal, it doesn't mean two. It means it's one for you. It's personal for you. Because what might be personal for you may not be personal for the next person. And sometimes when you tell too many people your dreams, they try to dim the light because they are afraid that your dream might prosper. Or sometimes somebody might have the same dream but different alignment. This, some people around you might have the same dream but might have a different alignment. And because you got more support or you got that dog in you more than them, they'll try to talk you out of what you're trying to do in life. So sometimes you have to evaluate, evaluate isolate, eliminate so you can elevate. That's it. That's it. And, and like what you just said hit on because a lot of people will see you and they see you really going for it and ascending and it's a reflection on them that they probably are not mm -hmm. or they're settling or they're not really going for it and that makes them feel some type of way and as a result, they're projecting that on you, you right? Yep. But regardless, doing good or bad, people don't feel some type of way. And I'm the type of person, I'm big on my energy, man. And Damn. just because you feel some type of way, you're not going to project your energy on me. You're not going to project your bad behavior, your, your your bad energy, or the way you think. I'm going to score. So good, brother. What are you most excited about right now, George? Everything. Everything I have coming. The possibility just, just to be able. That's what I'm excited about. Yeah. So uh, I don't take just I don't take nothing for granted, man. It's a blessing and an honor. So I got to be all gas, no brakes, more gas and less brakes. Yeah, that's what we named the episode, by the way. All gas, no brakes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know there's someone listening right now, and they're a little skeptical. They're like, well, what about like decompressing or taking some George time? What would you say to that? Say again, I'm sorry, I can hear you. For someone that's listening right now and they're a little skeptical like well how can you always be going 100 miles an hour when do you take some george time or relax a little bit what would you say to that you know your body your body will let you know um uh, sometimes you can i do my best work while, while running on low fuel you know so sometimes your body will allow, will let you know when it's time to shut down and relax and do some you no know, get you some relaxed time you know, because sometimes you can go too hard and burn yourself out. You never want to burn yourself out. But I do believe that my 40% can be somebody 80% or 90%. So we totally two different person. You know, I can function on 40% and be just almost perfect. So you just got to know yourself. Not everybody the same. Yeah, that's it. I love this. And also with how driven you are. You have a, a maniacal drive. And I mean that with the utmost compliment because I, I have that as well. You have to really surround yourself with the right people that really buy into your vision. And, and I'm a big believer in quality over quantity these days, mm -hmm. but you obviously have a great support system in your inner circle that wow. understand that this is that moment for you to really push so you can set yourself up, set your whole team up for the next 60 years. And, and I don't just mean financially, but really spread that message of hope and inspiration and all that stuff. That inner circle to buy into that vision, based on my experience, not so easy to find. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm big on putting the right people around me. And uh, we all got to have the same vision. You know, I got a big team, but a small team. You know, I don't need thousands. I don't, I don't need thousands. I didn't need the right people. And sometimes, it might take one person to be able to do two or three things. You know, um, it's about, man, just just being committed to what we're trying to get to, that destination. Not the location, but the destination. Yeah. We go to a different location, but the destination is to achieve everything we've been working hard for, everything we've been putting, putting together to uh, make sure we can lead for the future generation. Yeah, so so good. The last thing I'm gonna have for you is this, brother. Right now, like for our brand, uh, the, the core message behind it is reinvention because that's what I did over mm -hmm. the last two and a half years and I was miserable and then I stepped into this and it's blown up. What would you what would you want, if someone was going to listen to your content right now from listening to this live that wasn't familiar, what would you want them to leave with it? What's that message that you really want to hit home for them? It's not what's happening to you, it's what's happening for you. And that you're a big dog. And when you're a big dog, you got to do what big dogs do. You're going you're gonna to go through what you go through. We're going to go through what we go through. And now sometimes we go through 
what we go through so we can be stronger when we get through. And you only become stronger when you go through something, you know? You turn into that big dog when you go through something. Um, don't live life playing it safe. I don't want I don't I don't I don't want to play safe. I don't want nothing easy. I want to build. I want to build my character, my mentality, my intellect, my strength, my wisdom. Uh, that dog gave me so uh, life is not a race it's a marathon just can't give up keep pushing keep striving it's yours you gotta turn up a notch bye <laughs> it's really like my favorite part about our relationship brother is it's just the beginning of the mm -hmm. friendship and, and i foresee me and you going mm -hmm. like this together mm -hmm. for the next 50 years yes I'm sir so, i'm so proud of you i'm so excited about everything you have going on the podcast is blowing up that we dropped on the sales experience today also, for our listeners, because we're going to repurpose this conversation elsewhere, mm -hmm. if you have an opportunity, I, I would see if you can grab a ticket to that event. Mm -hmm. Seeing George live in person is just a whole other yeah. dynamic. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you so much, brother, for being you. I love you. And I hope you have a great weekend. I'm going to text you in a little bit. Okay. Appreciate my brother. Much love to everybody. Have a great weekend. Be prosperous in everything you do. And second thing is, remember, you're a big dog. So turn them up. Talk that. Much love. Talk that. Talk that. <laughs> <laughs> Later, Bye. brother. Later, man. Bye. Bye. Unbelievable conversation, guys. Uh, I'm just loving the feedback from the episode on the sales experience. All gas, no brakes. Big dog, George White. If you guys weren't familiar with George before this, our audience listeners, do yourself a favor and check out everything that he has going on and play catch up and thank me later. His inspirational messages. They'll penetrate your soul. There's a lot of people that do stuff like this, but but George does it a little bit differently. And a word that I want to use that he used is authenticity. That cat is super authentic, and he has a way of saying the right things and really tugging on your soul and the heartstrings. And as they say, you don't always remember what people said, but you remember how they made you feel. George will make you feel some type of way. So. Um, loving that you guys are loving the episodes. The podcast continues to explode. Love everything that's going on. Thank you guys so much for all the birthday love and all that good jazz. Hope you have an unbelievable weekend. Sharpen the axe. Uh, set yourself up and stay consistent. It's a superpower in itself. Uh, love you guys.